Ready? Hello, our YouTube viewers. Uh, uh, we're preparing another film of Elante. Uh, thanks to Elante XLR Club uh, chapter of Cadillac Lasau Club. Uh, we're going to present you step by step how to maintain your beautiful car, the best ca uh, car Cadillac ever made, of course convertible, uh, they ever make uh, uh, Cadillac Elante. Uh, today's section will be about roof, how to open, how to close and how to maintain and what is the crucial component of roof portion. So let's start with, with uh, our car. And I'd like to show you roof operations, how to start. Number one, you have to really start with your rear of the roof. Because you have to release the rear of the roof, make sure that roof is folding and this red button is locking up. Of course, I have one hand. So it's not easy to, but this must be locked. This little thing have to be locked before you go to any other operation. Now, after this, and of course uh, I can show you, this is the, 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 the one on the middle uh, lift right here. Okay, next one is for opening your rear cover. Uh, the, the one from inside part of the car is to open your rear cover. And right here, this might be a little dark, but I'll help you. Right here is our pull-down motor. You see that? This is our beauty, which is closing our roof on back. Now, when this part is done, we have to go to another portion of opening roof. Which is opening front. You're unlocking front, and then you have two components uh, of the roof. It's front lockdown. You see, my is very greasy because I'm greasing up, greasing up these uh, little wheels, which is locking to the roof portion. This is very important. This little pointy uh, two bolts are very important for proper operations of roof. Why? They have to fit exactly to this holes right here. I also have a little grease. When you're sliding to this holes, the wheels, it's locking right here and not allowing to open during driving. When these bolts are not properly going into the hole or they are bent. This wheels my lock on outside of this uh, mechanism and during driving, especially with high speed, you might have pop and the roof can open. Make sure that these bolts are operating properly to allow locking wheels to lock in these channels, properly locking these channels. Now, when you are finished with this part, you're putting your roof down and then you can lock your lead. After uh, driving, if you want to close that very quickly, you're doing reverse. You, first, you're putting your roof gently put into the holes right here lining up locking touching your roof with your hand locking front now front is locked and then you closing your lead and you can see right here this is your pull down right here it's sticking out now you can close back by releasing this it's good to push that, it's hard to do it with one hand, and pushing down this uh, red level, and then locking down your roof. And then the roof is pulling down by itself, locking, we are done. Now, 
What I want you to understand, and uh, I will show you a little later how the pull-down uh, mechanism is working. I want you to remember that underneath, right underneath of the roof, Every component, moving component, should be greased up, every part, here and in your convertible roof. And also, my strong suggestion to put um, dielectric grease, even if dielectric grease is for, for electrical, put dielectric grease right in these two components which is lacking your uh, front of the roof. Now. Let me go to this part. This little machine it have not only testing, as you saw before, uh, my switches, but also it's able to test uh, my pull downs. And how the pull down is working? You see, the pull down have lock which is locking when you closing and this is our ground cable very important if this ground cable is not connected your pull down is not working because it's operating by ground the roof is touching and ground is touching when it's locking and then pull down is working and when you when you opening when you closing is going like this when you opening the pull down is automatically going up and this little uh, switch is clicking back for closing. Now, when uh, you're touching by roof, this ground is releasing uh, a, a power, um, ground power to this pull down, and then uh, uh, your pull down is going down and pulling roof. Did you hear this click? You hear this click, it's very important. If you didn't hear click in your Elante, that means you have bad adjustment of pull down and then your pull down is not working properly, it's draining power, it's breaking down, you can expect many uh, strange things. Very important adjustment, it's right here on this three uh, bolts holding this pull down. Now, Problem with pull down is that you have uh, electric gear. I will show you closer how this gear is working. You see how it's operating. This this uh, plastic gear, because of usage, many time usage is wearing down, and that's main problem of our pull down. Needs lots of force, so the pull down can be rebuilt. Tom Rauner from California have rebuilt one. We have our club have rebuilt one uh, with new components, so it's like brand new. And uh, also Dick Hussey in Florida have rebuilt pull down. One more thing which is important. When you unplugging, you see this plug? This is new plug, this is for a 93. Actually, I'll show you this part. It's 93 plug. But the older models have different type of your a connector. The connector is different. Make sure that you're using proper pull down for your car. Also, one more thing you have to see different. It's when you're looking at this bracket and you're looking 93 bracket, it's different between these two brackets. Don't mix older model with newer model because then you have a major problem. You cannot adjust, your roof is not working, and then you're complaining, ah, Elante is not good. No, it's good, it's very good car, but you have to maintain this proper way. This little switch, I will go back to car and show you. This little switch is very important. This little switch is on back of your car if you by any chance miss uh, the proper locking, this switch can recycle your pull down. Uh, the switch is behind front seat, behind driver seat, right underneath. You have your switch. You see that? Right underneath. Barbara will show you closer. Okay. Uh, where is that? This switch you can recycle your pull down till clicks and it's visible again on the back of your car. Don't forget about this. 
Don't be upset whenever sudden pull down it's disappearing and you cannot uh, close your roof because this switch will recycle and then it's easy to work. I have to show you uh, uh, two more very important part of this presentation. Might be small, but it's important. This oil is very good because you're pulling out and then you're reaching out uh, uh, everywhere. We have special uh, uh, made oil for roof. This is not typical oil. This is combination of different oils because it's important, because you need special viscosity of the oil. You don't need very thin oil because the oil is disappearing, have dust and everything. So you need viscosity for, of the oil for all these components, uh, moving components of the roof. Second thing, very important, don't ever forget any electrical connector. Use dielectric grease. When you use dielectric grease, right when you where you plugging right here, or where you a new model when you uh, when is your plug, use your dielectric grease. I strongly recommend dielectric grease. Doesn't matter who makes that. This is not commercial of this particular dielectric grease because I'm also using different one which have automatic squeeze and then pumping. Why this is so important? Because then this dielectric, dielectric grease will protect you from any corrosion and corrosion is very bad, especially for Elante. Elante is one of the first cars uh, to, to, um, to, uh, who, which have lots of electronics and which also have uh, uh, computers. Now, why is so important uh, about this uh, dielectric grease? Next uh, segment, we will show you electrical fuses and electrical connectors. If you're not using the dielectric grease, having convertible, which is outside very often with open roof, you never know, you might have a little rain before you close your roof, then you might have corrosion on your connectors and the electric grease is helping you to protect from corrosion and it's also helping to maintain proper connection, electrical connection. This is, um, this is it for today's presentation. All our uh, YouTube viewers, if you like our um, videos, give us thumbs up. Visit our channel, Cadillac XLR Club, uh, Cadillac LaSalle, uh, chapter of Cadillac uh, LaSalle. So, Cadillac XLR Club, chapter of Cadillac LaSalle. Uh, thank you very much for visiting us and come back later.